everyone. Today I will be talking about the Playrail Thomas and Freight Car set. First, let me get something straight. This is the Thomas and Freight Car set. This isn't. This is the Thomas and Freight Car set. This isn't. This is the subscribe button. But this is what it should look like on your screen. Okay, with that out of the way, I will move on to my first discussion. The Thomas and Freight Car set was released in 2001 with this packaging. In 2003, it was changed to this packaging. Also in 2003, it was released in Australia under the Tomiko World range. The version I own is the 2001 release, which is considered rarer as it was available for a shorter period of time. This set contained many great pieces, including some exclusive ones. This is the exclusive face Thomas. It has his annoyed expression. This is my favorite Playrail Thomas by far, as the face is just so accurate. I previously did a review on this model, so I will link that in the description. Next up is the exclusive Troublesome Tanker which is just a regular white tanker with a sticker face. It's a good model and is considered to be quite rare. The Thomas Motorized range is actually introducing a new troublesome tanker in their Percy Takes the Plunge pack. Unlike the Playrail version, this one actually has a molded face, so I might pick it up. This is the breakdown train. It was available in a few different packs back in the day, although it is discontinued now. The crane arm can actually move up and down and swing around, which I find quite fascinating. Here we have the Red Express Coach. It is just a regular Red Express Coach, so there's really nothing to say about it. This set also included four troublesome trucks. A red one, with trees, a brown one with fish, SC Ruffy or Scruffy with barrels, and a green one with fruit. It is worth noting that SC Ruffy is his rebuilt version, and the green troublesome truck has the angry face, which is rather uncommon. Also included were Trevor, Caroline, and Terrence on flatbeds. All three of them do look a little squashed, especially Terrence. Now on to purchase options and pricing. On eBay, there is a brand new listing for almost 1,500 US dollars plus another 20 US dollars for shipping. In my opinion, this is completely unreasonable. The only Playrail items that should be this expensive are the ones that received limited production, such as the gold and silver Thomases. There are still quite a few reasonable ones, such as this one here. If you are looking to buy just the Angry Thomas, this is the cheapest listing I could find on eBay. I will link all of these listings in the description below. Overall, I give this set 5 out of 5 stars. To me, it is one of the best Playrail sets ever released.